Stop acting like it's normal to never have an issue with your hair. That is not normal. You sit on here listening to these people who sit up on YouTube and act like they've never had a lock issue. That's why y'all be combing y'all locks out after three months. They setting y'all up for failure. Sitting up here acting like you ain't never had nothing. I net my locks have net I net girl, we don't believe you. <laughs> we don't believe you and we don't care. And then when I get back tonight, I think I'm gonna go ahead and take these down. Y'all know the king from Shrek, where he's like, do you know the Muffet Man? She is taking it, honey. <laughs> Um, today is May 5th and I've been trying to get more in the habit of just like recording because sometimes like I can sit down and like plan out videos and stuff but sometimes I just feel like I need to stop overthinking and just kind of like turn the camera on and see what happens you know isn't that what art is all about Today, since it's Cinco de Mayo, I asked my friend weeks ago, I was like, girl, you wanna go get Mexican food on Cinco de Mayo? And obviously, it was a yes. Because it'll always be a yes. I'm getting ready now. I bought these Kiss So Wispy. Can y'all see that? So Wispy lashes. I'm trying to find the perfect lash for me. But um, I don't like how y'all lashes be looking. I'm gonna just be honest. Like, I don't like how y'all lashes be looking. Y'all lashes be looking like this. It be looking like this, hanging off your face. Like somebody, I'm not even good at putting lashes on, so I'm not gonna do too much on y'all. Cause I don't want y'all to do too much on me. All right? We're not gonna do too much on each other. So last time I did an update and talked about my hair, I was talking about how um, I was having issues in one area in particular the comments on that video have been for the most part very uh supportive and very helpful like some of y'all have brought some things to my attention that i hadn't considered y'all y'all some of y'all have said like i should get my vitamin levels checked because i might be deficient in some areas and i think that's so true so that's definitely something i plan on looking in into um it also was brought to my attention that the shampoos that i'm using I don't need to use them at the same time like basically if I'm gonna use Dawn I think I should use Dawn by itself because it's so strong um, I've only used Dawn twice in the six years that I've had locks and I do feel like it's good if you feel like your hair is like super just like dirty like it does a great job of like stripping your hair clean but it also is going to strip your hair of those like natural oils that you need yeah i didn't need to use my dawn soap and my um clarifying shampoo i think that was overkill i definitely need to add in a conditioner because for a while i have been just kind of shampooing and not conditioning i'm gonna go off camera to put my lashes on y'all hold on okay i'm back i put them on they might look a little crazy but sometimes you just gotta look a little crazy but yeah, so there's definitely a few things I can consider changing and tweaking to move forward. I really appreciate the people who left comments saying that like they've experienced something similar or that it's normal or, you know, just like being really encouraging and realistic. What gets on my nerves though is the people who leave comments like, Well, I've had locks for 15 years and I've never I've never had an issue. I've, I've, my locks have never, I've never had an issue with my locks. My locks never did this, never did that. I never had any lint. I never lost a lock. None of them broke off. None of them thinned out. None of them ever did anything. Sis, we don't believe you. We don't believe you. Like, that's just not how hair works to me. And even if you miraculously never had not one single minor or major issue with your locks, so... I've never watched somebody make a video expressing that they're having an issue with something and then I felt the need to let them know that I have never and will never ever have that issue. Like good for you, 
it's just not constructive. Like when you left that comment, did you think that was constructive to me? What do you think I can do with that information? Then they'd be like, yeah, I've never had any thinning. I've never had any breakage. I've never had any thinning. All I do is drink raccoon's blood every night. Girl, <laughs> please. We don't believe you and we're not following that routine. I'm sorry. All I do is deep moisture and hot oil treatments six times a night and girl, I'm not doing that. So if they break, they break. <laughs> I'm not doing that y'all like I, I I'm not afraid to let hair be hair like in my last video I was sad that my locks were having issues in that area yeah it's upsetting it's not fun to have issues with your hair but it's also not the end of the world people need to see the real side of what can happen to your locks down the line it happens what time is it? Oh, I'm running late. Oh my God, I'm running late. But do you know how many people have made videos about them having issues with their locks? It happens. You could do everything right or feel like you're doing everything right and something still might come out wrong. Like something still might happen. It's okay. It's all right. Somebody left a comment, <laughs> ew. Somebody left a comment and was like, girl, I would be so sad if I was you. I'm fine. <laughs> I'm actually all right. I've had bigger trials and tribulations in my life than having a few locks fall out, baby. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I, I got real life issues. Like, my rent just went up $100. <laughs> like, I'm fine. Trust me, like, I was sad but it's not that deep to me and i understand for some of y'all y'all y'all's hair is your pride and joy i understand that like and i get that and, and don't get me wrong i love my hair it don't make or break me like my locks fell out that day and i went out that night and my hair looked bomb so that was one of the reasons why i was saying i didn't want to upload this video because i knew some of y'all would be aggy like i knew some of y'all would be so annoying like yeah, it just is crazy to me how people can find a way to be elitist about anything. Like, stop acting like it's normal to never have an issue with your hair. That is not normal. It's not uncommon to run across some issues along the way. Fix it and keep it moving. Like, that's one thing that really gets on my nerves about the lock community. And... I actually was going to make a video about elitism in the lock community because it's just so stupid to me. Just like how y'all be getting upset when people get lock extension. Y'all mad when, when people, you know, don't start their locks from scratch. What does that have to do with you? It comes off a bit elitist to me and it feels a bit condescending. You have some tips you want to share or some information you want to share or this is how i fixed it i'm always open to that i'm always open to that i don't think i know everything there's not one way to have locks everybody has their own methods their own ways i'm not opposed to unsolicited advice because a lot of the things that have been shared with me i've learned from the community that i've built on here i i have definitely learned from y'all just as much as like people have learned from me but I never try to come off condescending and I'm not gonna set you, set you up for unrealistic expectations. Like say something constructive or don't say anything at all. Oh, this is a really light pink. Hmm. So I went to Ulta yesterday and I got so many blushes, y'all. I'm obsessed with blush, by the way. Like I got these three blushes. Well, yeah, y'all. Again, thank you to everybody who had something constructive to say and you know recommended things to me somebody recommended onion juice and i asked my sister i was like onion juice I, I never heard of onion juice you know being a thing and she was like yeah like onion juice has a lot of good be benefits like you know so i i appreciate the people who try to come from a genuine place and literally try to help there are people who are starting their life every single day if they can find one of my videos and not make some of the mistakes that I've made, why wouldn't I want to help them? Because that's the whole point in sharing information and educating myself and others. It's to help. Now, I might be overreacting a little bit because I'm PMSing again. 
You might be thinking to yourself, Meg, you're always PMSing. Yes, I am. This is what my hair looks like now. I have my lock stylus give me like a lock bob. Okay, let me get dressed real quick and put my earrings on. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. I'm really trying to make myself like this hairstyle. Not a bun, right? Ooh, that's tight. Well, it's sticking straight up, so that's a no. I think I'm just gonna leave it at this. I have to leave the house in five minutes, exactly. And then when I get back tonight, I think I'm gonna go ahead and take these down. Y'all know the king from Shrek, where he's like, do you know the Muffin Man? That's what I feel like. I think, in theory, I like my hair like this. I think it's too short. I tried to make it work and get my money's worth. I mean, I kept it for a week. Let me go ahead and grab my stuff and go so I can make it there on time. All right, see y'all in a minute, bye. <laughs> Hey guys, I'm back. I just took my earrings off. I just took my lashes off. Like one thing about me, once the function is over, once the event is over, I'm taking everything off in the car after the event is over. Oh my god, I got this thing. Sorry, it's single to mile, y'all. So you can guess I'm a little. Uh, I'm a little. I'm a little. I'm a little little. <laughs> All right, yeah, I'm about to take these lock knots down because, yeah. the middle part looks like I want to be a middle part girly so bad there's so many rubber bands on the floor it's Sunday so y'all know I got to get my Sunday nap in if you guys have any questions comments or concerns as always please leave those down in the comment section um, otherwise I'm gonna go ahead and get out of here because I need to go lay now thank you guys for watching and I'll catch you in the next video okay bye